Let me tell you this story about the time I overdosed on uh, fentanyl. I was with this uh, girl I know, and, um, and she was involved in some stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, she's like, oh, I'm gonna um, go use your bathroom. I go, man, I don't want you using that shit in my bathroom and you dying and blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, let me, I go, fuck, man. I go, what, you don't even have any, you know, the shit, Narcon or whatever. And I go, I, I don't want it, you know? And I think I, uh, where did I go? I thought I had to go outside and, I don't know if it was uh, snowing or something like that, but uh, I went outside, I came back and she did it. And she's like, here, just take a little, just take a little, um, you know, a little line. And I go, all right. I snorted that shit, listen. And not even a fucking, like a, like a little dot dot. I went, <sighs> and I walked over to the refrigerator in uh, where it was, I forget where, in my kitchen, but I'm trying to think how it was set up and there's a, the counter. And I just went up to the refrigerator and I'm like, holy fuck, man, holy fuck. And I go, I don't feel, you know, I go, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. And I just breathing like that, you know, huh? And uh, I woke up, um, I had pissed my pants, I fucking, I think I hit my head somewhere, I had a fucking, like a big knot on my head. I fell into uh, into the wall. I woke up. This is how I woke up, literally. Look at. I woke up like this. <clears throat> like, and I was like, I came to, and I was like, oh, and I knew there was like piss everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like looking around. I was like, man, that bitch left me here to fucking die. And I was like, I couldn't, I don't know, like my arm was all fucked up. I was, I was like trying to push to get up. And I got up and I was like so fucking dizzy. And I was like, oh my God. I, go, what the f I knew I was going to make it at this point because I woke up, you know. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? What are we doing? You know, this, we, you can't have these people. What are you doing having these people in your life? You know? You know? You know that's another reason why I left fucking New York, you know? And uh, I came to, I went in the fucking shower, and I was just laying in there, and I was like, fuck, I couldn't even keep my eyes open, literally, I was just laying in the shower like this, and I got out of the shower, and I was like, I just couldn't even walk, and I'm telling you, literally, I probably did, I'll show you. I'll show you how much, this is probably how much fentanyl I did. Hold on. Oh, I'm not trying to, oh, I can't do it on there. But like this. And that shit knocked me down like somebody shot me with a fucking rifle and she wants to inject it. So, I came to, I fucking, uh, she tried saying that, listen, she tried saying that I owed her 10 bucks because she went and bought a Narcon from a friend. Like, dude, they're free at the clinic there. You know what I mean? And, I, and she goes, yeah, I Narconed your ass. I go, no, you didn't. I go, you fucking left me to die. Let's be honest. Because if you Narcon my ass, you would have fucking been there when I woke up, dummy. You left. You know what I mean? So I'm just telling you. That's why I, that's why I tell people, man. You know, I lost... Don't fuck around, man. I lost both of my brothers to this shit. This shit is not, this shit isn't a fucking hobby. It's not cool to do once in a while. I don't want it in my life. I don't want people to do it in my life. I don't want to fucking see it. I don't want to know about it. It's different if somebody needs help, but I'll tell you, that shit would kill a police officer if he opened a bag and got a whiff of that instantly. It fucking put me, it knocked my dick in the dirt, okay? Nothing's ever fucked, and I've, you know, not bragging, but I've shot heroin and shit a couple of times, and it fucked me up good, you know, I was throwing up and shit, but that shit, that shit kills people, and I'll tell you, it's a medicinal weapon, there's no need for it, you know what I mean, other than in hospitals, nobody, nobody at home, okay, nobody at fucking home needs that shit, okay, you belong in the fucking hospital because you're ready to die, the fucking strength on something like that, yo, that is engineered to fucking kill people. I don't give a fuck what anybody says.